A couple of days ago, I shared with you what Pope Francis said at the Great Easter Vigil. And today, I'd like to share some of his words that were spoken after the Mass, the Easter Mass in St. Peter's Basilica. As I said before, just like us, he celebrated Mass practically alone. But he did speak afterwards to the city of Rome and to the world. And these are some of his words. Today, the Church's proclamation echoes throughout the world. Jesus Christ is risen. He is truly risen. Christ, my hope, has arisen. For every human heart awaits to hear this good news. It is the contagion of hope. Christ, my hope, is risen. There is no magic formula that makes problems vanish. No, the resurrection of Christ is not that. Instead, it is the victory of love over the root of evil. A victory that does not bypass suffering and death, but passes through them opening a path in the abyss, transforming evil into good. This is the unique hallmark of the power of God. Today, my thoughts turn in the first place to the many who have been directly affected by the coronavirus, the sick, those who have died, and family members who mourn the loss of their loved ones, to whom, in some cases, they were unable even to bid farewell. May the Lord of life welcome the departed into his kingdom, and grant comfort and hope to those who are still suffering, especially the elderly and those who are alone. May he never withdraw his consolation and help from those who are especially vulnerable, such as persons who work in nursing homes or who live in barracks and prisons. For many, this is an Easter of solitude, lived amid the sorrow and hardship that the pandemic is causing, from physical suffering to economic difficulties. But I say to all of you, this is a time for us to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ. Christ has defeated death and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. He has dispelled the darkness of our suffering humanity, and he leads us into the light of his glorious day, a day that knows no end. Amen.